Namaste Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I see the God in you. Yes. I'm so happy to be back doing your zodiac sign reading. Okay. We're going to tap into quite a few intimate questions. The first one is, what does the person on your mind want to say to you? What are they... This is something you kind of feel, you know, um, something that they said or something that you've just been feeling intuitively, okay? So, let's see. Ooh. I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all, Virgo. It doesn't. Wow. I feel that I'm just hearing already that, you know, it's like you've done so much spiritual work and healing on yourself. You've grown so much, even in your practical mind and your practical sense. I know that it is an earth sign, but it's also ruled by Mercury. So your ability to bring your thoughts into reality and even if you want intentionally, you have awakened um, something in this 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 person and wow let's see what else do they want to say they're learning so much even if you've had even if you had to hurt them i'm hearing <laughs> i'm so done I, I didn't feel like i was on your level you're a boss i'm very insecure what some of you are getting spiritual red flags about this situation like like no other. And whew, I need a sip of my tea for that one. I'm not even kidding you. Whoa. That was deep. That was heavy. It's difficult. Um, this person looks up to you, but they're also intimately, romantically, you know. Attracted to you competition in a romantic relationship is always awkward feeling inadequate. This person feels inadequate I tried to replace you, but it didn't work because I'm madly in love with you And I was fighting it I know this is divine So we have two really strong spiritual indications here. The first one is you know This person being on the spiritual journey I'm loving this reading. Um, you you woke this person's soul up. You they know now that it's not sweet. They thought it was sweet. They thought they could replace you. I don't really feel like I need to say any more on that. I don't need to I I just feel like whatever it was, it was real raggedy, you know. <laughs> Even if it was a financial upgrade, it's like the spiritual energy of that person that they, it just wasn't, they weren't in alignment. They couldn't, there was no growth. There was no expansion. And whatever this energy was that they tried to replace you with, I miss your voice, your laugh, your humor, your touch. I'm in my feelings today. So for some of you, this could very well be a situation where you're not with this person you're not around them or it could just be that you know maybe there's some emotional distance between you mm, could be a breakup you know you guys let me know what's going on because i definitely want to know and with all of this energy that's coming through i think it's safe safe to say that yeah somebody wants to talk to you look i'm, I'm splitting the deck for what are their intentions wouldn't be surprised if communication comes out again you know mm, because they miss Let's just see what their current intentions are. They miss your energy. They miss your vibe. I'm hearing like no one compares to my Virgo. <laughs> Wherever you have that Virgo placement in your chart, this is definitely your reading, okay? And those major placements. I'm feeling this so, oh my goodness, commitment. Okay. 
I'm not surprised that, you know, their current intentions are commitment, even if it's not necessarily a wedding or making a marriage work or something like that. Maybe it is making a marriage work. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's rekindling of some sort, or maybe it's actually following through on some of the promises that they made to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes I'm hearing don't be a preacher be a teacher you know so like do what you say you're gonna do um we do have this fertility in reverse um I feel like they want to nurture this their current intentions are to to try to be patient and they want you to be patient with them for some of you, I, I, I mean, this could literally just mean like their intentions are to impregnate you, procreate with you, really solidify things with you. So if that's not what you want, there are so many ways to protect yourself. With this fertility, yes, they want growth with you. And I mean, it, it could be serious. I don't know how you feel about being replaced or somebody trying to replace you. That part, I don't know how you feel about that. But you let me know. You let me know. I don't know. Because <laughs> I can't get past that one, Virgo. I'm sorry. Oh, transformation see what i'm saying expansion some of you could definitely be dealing with a scorpio that energy is coming through some of you could be dealing with maybe a taurus a libra all right um we're definitely going to get some tarot so don't don't you worry um, i did see something about some all right let's see let's get one more so transformation yeah that's that's expansion that's if it was small talk they wanted to lead to something big, something more, something carved in stone, something written. Child, for some of you, literally, they could just want a child with you. They could want another child with you. They could want your relationship to be nurtured like a child needs nurture. But for some of you, yeah, I think that it's, it is what it is. Okay. Mm, interesting okay i am hearing a lot so i'm going to tap into your energy really quick and just see how you're feeling about this person i just i'm, I'm getting at what their intentions are too they're gonna play this innocent role and it's up to you if you're like trusting and feeling in this transformation because i feel like maybe whatever they did in the past they're gonna be like oh i've transformed you know i'm innocent like a child guys you know like i'm picking up a lot of vibes okay a lot of frequencies okay so hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh wow okay don't let this person um ever throw you off your track again okay you feel like maybe in the past this person threw you off or they just i don't know you just you saw something that was like kind of like immature with the chariot in reverse could be dealing with a cancer could be any sign okay mm. don't let them detour you mm. don't let them detour you from you know those distractions you know um, that come up in life with relationships you gotta you gotta be disciplined i'm feeling like yeah sometimes this person throws you off a little bit yes because you're a creative person you might even get your creativity from this person's chaos maybe this person is chaotic okay <laughs> maybe there's just something about them that is just like it's outside of the box ish aries leo stage energy coming through but you might want to work on this. You might. Oh my God. How do you feel about this? One? <laughs> well, you just feel like this person annoys the hell out of you sometimes, but at least they're not boring. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. You feel like this person can be a little bit immature. Yes. It's like you want them to be this chariot upright. 
with this wonderful balance, yin and yang, masculine and feminine dual energy, but it's just like this constant U-turn, you know, three steps are forward, um, whatever, two steps forward, three steps back, something like that, you know what I mean, it's like, this person can be argumentative, this person can't just irritate you, this could be an on again, off again, um, we got this eight of, eight of cups reverse, I'll take that, too much, you definitely feel like, um, they make you question your intuition, um, you also feel like, you don't want a lot of time to be lost either, you know, that's the six of cups, so I thought that was the eight, that's the six of cups, and it is in reverse, so you, you, you kind of do feel, so for, for some of you, yes, this person could be coming back, and you want them to come back, for others of you, you just don't want to waste your time, you know, you feel like, is this really worth it? Maybe you've known this person from your childhood and you're just like, I don't want to waste my time. Like I've invested so much and I just hope that this works out because this could be your last go around with this person. Now, let's see, especially if they've been messing with your finances in any way, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, even though you're a Virgo, another Virgo. Okay. So let's see. How are they feeling? How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about you in this connection? For for starters, I already see hearing energy, but let's just see what comes up. How are they feeling about my Virgo? Feeling about my Virgo. If you like this, don't forget to press like, share, subscribe. Press like, it really helps me you do that. How are they feeling about my Virgo? Wow, why did I just hear, it's a party, it's a party, it's a party. <laughs> the four of wands, the six of wands, um, they just feel like, you know, you, you are something to brag about. Even though you can kind of be like a bit standoffish, okay, you are something to brag about and taking you, bringing you into their world, introducing you to... The things that they like, their friends, they feel like they want a prize. For some of you, they could see you as a trophy wife, a trophy husband, a trophy boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you know, um, just a trophy. And yeah, they really could be considering something that is long term i'm not surprised okay because if you're wanting commitment and relationships and you're wanting like you're wanting to like hear a story and hear a reading and it actually happens that you're in the right place okay you're at the right frequency you're ready for this reading um you were actually born ready for this reading it's just the other energy this person feels like you're born ready for them you are just everything they like your taste they like your fashion they definitely feel like you're a fighter a warrior and they feel like they could win in life with you let's get some more virgo if you're single and you got no one let me know down in the comments okay but if you're watching this there's definitely a strong energy that is surrounding you that yeah somebody is really like truly serious about you they feel like you know you really are someone who takes the high road you know what's going on but then sometimes you pretend like you don't see what's going on but you literally it's like they're coming off as this knight and you're the emperor there is really no match for a knight and an emperor like what <laughs> it's like no what are you doing what what are you doing i don't think so um so yeah they feel like they can't they have to come correct they need to be they even can feel like you know they need to be in a higher position in life they need to be an entrepreneur they need to be they need to have some m's in the bank some some 
some K's. I don't know. You're like, they need to have, because I didn't feel like I was on your level. That's the beginning of the reading, you know? So they're seeing you as the, the emperor and then they're showing up as this knight and then Sherry reverse. It's kind of like, don't let them bring you down. There needs to be a vibrational match. Everything is a vibrational match, okay? So they need to know that maybe they were a vibrational match to you, but you can't lead them to, you know, you, you can't, I was gonna, I was gonna say some, some weird analogy. I'm not even gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you can tell a person what to do, but if, and you know what's right, but it, like, you can show them and tell them, like, how great and amazing they are. You can lift them up, but if they don't believe in themselves, then well, what can you do about that? You know, that's, that's a me problem. Red pill, blue pill. I'm just saying that two of swords, it's time for them to make some sort of major life change if they want to be on your level. So that's how they're feeling. They're feeling like you might drop them at any moment. They're feeling pretty shaky, baby. I'm just saying when it comes to you. Mm hmm. Wow. Virgo. Mm, that's interesting. Let's see. What are their thoughts? What are they thinking? Thank you. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Oh, what do they want to say? I want you. So, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's like people always want what they can't have. You feel me? <laughs> That's how they're feeling. Because you are a prize. Of course they want you. You're the emperor. <laughs> like, a lot of people want you. And <laughs> what, what, what are we going to do about that? Okay, thank you. What else? What are they thinking? What are their thoughts? Mm. See, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. This person's definitely insecure. And they, they got some serious decisions. They, they got to really, they got to, they need to move quick because at the end of the day, you don't have time to waste. You're not someone you all, you've already awakened they're trying to catch up. So I'm just saying the spirit of confusion, <laughs> your family won't like me. I'm not, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this person. Virgo, who is this person? What did they do? I'm feeling a scandal coming on here. Let me know what the is going on. Why do they feel like your family won't like them? I feel like because they're insecure. I feel like they're inferior. They could be inferior to you in some sort of way. Be careful with this type of energy. They could have put you in a third party situation. Or they could have just left you for a long time. Left you with responsibilities. I just wish things were different. I miss you. Do you? So this person is thinking about you constantly. And I mean, hey. Listen, you know, we could do this all day long, but what I'm trying to figure out is this. The number three, seven, eight. You guys could be seeing the number eight everywhere. Eight, 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 three, three, three. Um, this is interesting to me that they miss you and I'm just getting a lot of, you know, they did something that maybe hurt you really bad. And maybe there's like some misunderstandings between you, you know? Um, ultimately, I'm also here, maybe their family, you know, didn't like you, okay? But. This person wants you to listen to your heart when it comes to them and drown out the noise. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Like if their if their family gave you a hard time or you know, yeah. They they don't care. They don't care what 
their friends have to say about you, what anyone has to say about you. You are just the sugar honey iced tea of their dreams and they don't care. Yeah. If your family doesn't like them, if their family doesn't like you, any family altercations or anything, it's like, listen to your heart. We belong together. I'm hearing we belong together. Mar Mariah Carey, yes. Okay. This person is really, they might even love Mariah Carey. Okay. That's coming through. I'm just saying. All right. Who doesn't love Mariah Carey? Don't be a hater. On the bottom of the deck, I'm manifesting you. So this person's definitely thinking about coming into your life and really being your knight in shining armor. I mean, they might be driving a hoopty with this chariot in reverse, but it's okay because they do love you and they're coming, okay? <laughs> but, you know, I'm just saying, it could be a Bentley. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be like something really fancy but i'm just saying like they're coming and they're thinking about that so it might be taking them a while also with that chariot in reverse let's see let's get some advice i feel like this was a lot of fun i really enjoyed this reading virgo some of you could be saying two 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 you have planted those seeds for your desires and are about to manifest keep your vibe high if you're seeing two 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 you're almost there okay let's get some advice from the romance angels what does virgo need to know about this connection with this person anything thank you so much yes Oh, okay. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, I mean, if this person puts you on pause, um, if they try to replace you, then maybe you need to, like, ex what is that? Sort your royal oats, okay? <laughs> See if the grass is greener on the other side. I don't know. Like, you could, like, especially if this person's, like, trying to come back in and, like, they've been in and out or you know whatever also this could be just flirting with the idea of you actually getting what you want out of a relationship flirting with the possibility and extend your lighthearted don't take this person so serious if it's new that's what i'm hearing super strong for you virgo yes okay i'm i'm gonna do one more i'm hearing one more card for advice Oh, wedding. Wow. This situation involves marriage. So, yeah. If this person is already committed to someone else or if they're saying that they're getting out of a relationship and they're, they're like giving you the sort of like, just just put your foot down and make sure that they're really fully healed from their past relationship. OK, from their past marriage allow them to be on that spiritual journey allow them to be able to match their energy because i can't get past the chariot in reverse in the beginning of the reading okay um also wedding this really could lead to marriage this this could be your person this could be commitment if you are considering commitment then flirt with that be positive when you see oh, i just heard this so clear when you are seeing people married couples when you're seeing things about brides don't get upset don't get sad get happy and know that that's actually a confirmation that if that's what you want you're drawing that energy in okay so there is some sort of commitment and they they're, they're wanting you to know that you know this this is your future okay this is your broader horizon if you're wanting commitment and you're wanting marriage you can have that you can have this commitment you can be with the person of your dreams some of you this could be a multicultural relationship as well i'm just letting you know that's all i have for right now 
Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Namaste. I'll see you in your next reading. Until then, peace and love.